Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the very rainy Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. That was my granddaughter, seven month old, first um, go in one of those bouncy things, having a ball she was. So I just thought I'd bring my viewers in on the joy of our little granddaughter. We just thought it was hilarious to the Irish jig music. Okay, on with the painting. Today I have a 60 by 30 canvas that I'm going to um, just put a normal base coat on. So this is just acrylic paint mixed with my pouring medium. Have a look in the drop down box underneath this video for the recipe and links to beginners um, playlist and links to varnishing and finishing your work is there too and all the supplies um, are there so on we go I am just giving this a, a coat as you see of and spreading it out but I intend just doing the uh, background with a difference that I've been doing the last while it's kind of um, using the Dutch pour to um, create a really nice background instead of just a plain background. Yes, I'm definitely just loving this blowing the background out like this. So you've got something more interesting instead of a, a solid background. Um, so it's a really nice, um, it's just, I've just found it's been beautiful for the backgrounds. So if you haven't given it a try, yeah, please do. Because it's, uh, yeah, I think it's quite nice. So this particular painting will have uh, I think three or four different techniques so I've done sort of a pour a Dutch pour and I will do a swipe and I will do the blowout bloom effect so it's a painting that's got the lot so that green that I put on there was some green that I already had pre-mixed up it was just the cool green um, and I believe I did mix some silver in with it at the time, metallic silver, so to give it sort of a, a, a sheen. That that I'm pouring there looks quite black, but it isn't. It's the Berry Delicious. It's a really dark cherry. Now this one is the Violet. It's just mixed up with my normal pouring medium. I've actually had this paint sitting there for a week, uh, covered up with just a damp cloth and it keeps fine unless you want to pour it into um, jars or whatever so I'll just let you watch my uh, layering of the colors and what I'm about to do now is that bottle contains the um, Amsterdam white with Floetrol only so I'm hoping you know that it will just get these gorgeous lacy cells I intended on using my um, super swiper, which is just a uh, window white, a window cleaner. You know, one of those window wipes that I've put a soft plastic file on. But I decided that it was way too wide, and that I'd take off my other colours. So I'm just cutting a piece of uh, just soft plastic. These are. are soft plastic file dividers that I just find absolutely perfect for all cork, cork, blah, 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 all kinds of swipes because um, you can wash them and they're reusable a trillion times so here we go just cut one to size that I want to take down the swipe so just gently doing that swipe I know this camera is not picking up that super duper um, cells that are just popping up straight up it's just 
beautiful there you go see them a little bit better there and I did actually take my phone down and and video all I thought I was videoing to give you a real close-up of the swipes but it unfortunately cut out so that's about as close as you're going to get to see the lovely um, effect from that particular swipe so the next stage is to um, create some little puddles this color here is the cool red and I have put a good dash of the um, dragonfly glaze in this paint uh, it just gives it sparkle either a dragonfly glaze or iridescent medium I do have both it just gives the paint such a sparkle for a tiny little amount that you put in in your paint so I just love it so I'm just gonna yeah layer these all up with my puddles that one is I think one was the cool red and one was the warm red So that before was a bit more berry delicious um, and now that was the white that just has the flow troll in it and this just helps me get that nice lacy effect in these um, flowers that I'm just blowing with my stainless steel drawer, straw, drawer, straw, <laughs> drawer, straws. Um, so yeah, uh, no special recipe to this, just my... Uh, this particular paint was my uh, global paint um, and just uh, yeah that just that white with the uh, it's Amsterdam white with the flow troll and it, it helps me get that nice sort of lacing in the uh, flower so I will give you some close-ups in a little while but look at this just with the contrast of that on the outside with the uh, white and that green and then doing that swipe down the center I just think it gives a whole new sort of different composition to the whole lot and I'm absolutely loving it love it love it So as you see now I've just got my skewer and I am just going to um, just do some nice wispy bits out of my flowers. Um, I just absolutely love this. I, you know, was so pleased with it. So I will definitely do this again and um, just see what a lovely painting that it looks like dried you will see at the end but I want to thank you guys for joining me for hopefully something a little bit different again and um, if you give it a try yeah just put it on our if you're a member of our or you want to join our Australian acrylic pouring group there is a link below in the drop down box so um, click the link and you have to answer a few questions to join 
and you're in like Flynn then you can post your work and it's really good um, place to post as well if you want beginner and you want some help questions um, it's all there so until tomorrow, you gorgeous people, I will love and leave you and say cheerio for now and let you, oh, look at that. It's so, I just love it. I just love it. Okay. All right. Until tomorrow, take care. Bye for now.